plant a, a variety of things. Uh, we plant wheat, crimson clover, uh, white clover, and uh, alfalfa for, for our game. The clover we planted about eight years ago, and it's, uh, I let it, in spring, I let it go ahead and seed out, and then I burn it, and it comes back volunteer every year. The wheat I have to plant every year, alfalfa I plant it in a, uh, every three years and it's the, it's the most expensive crop we got uh cost me 750 dollars to plant 10 acres this year um seeds was 250 dollars a sack so it's pretty valuable but it's got the most protein for a deer if anything that we do um but we try to feed them year round uh have something out here in the summer it's plenty in the woods from the eat and, and they, they deer's a browser he, he wants to come over here and get a bite here and go down the road and get a bite here and uh, he's, he doesn't just want to stay in one area and eat. He, he likes to browse when he's eating. Have you ever figured up how many miles of road you've got back through here? Yeah. Uh, and so you got this stuff planted along all the roads and well, you've got little fields when, of it? When, when pickup trucks got to uh, $20,000 a piece, I, I decided I couldn't skin up anymore. Uh, we used to have a little bit of tight roads and uh, when it get like slick like it is now, if you slid off, you're you gonna hit a tree, and it's gonna, if you hit something, it's gonna tear it up. So we got a dozer in here and, and just widened our roads that, that we had and left the road in the same spot. And I really do like it because uh, every time you go around a curve, it's just like coming to a new field or something. Oh, listen, for deer hunting, it's awesome. I mean, because we saw deer cutting back and forth across but, through here all morning. As far as mileage, I was thinking, I probably got three and a half as wide, and I, I still got some that's narrow, but I try to stay off of them unless it's uh, dry. I don't always do that. Though. This is a, a, a rub. When a buck comes through and he, he rubs his horns, and he's setting his territory up. If you look right out there, there's another one. And uh, he'll make him a line through here, and this is his territory, and he doesn't want another buck coming through here. If he does, they're gonna be a fight. Uh, we have found them two locked together before out here. And, uh, they, they fight. You ever see a fight? It's something to see. It's just like those rams with butt heads. And yeah. They, uh, but they only do that for about three weeks out of the year. The rest of the time, they're pretty good buddies. Just like a man. And they put the grape right here. And they urinate in it. And when the does are in estrogen, they'll come by and urinate in it. And they'll go out there. 75 yards, you come out and tell it, go find it, they breed. But I'm just reading the slims here over the road because it's been used for years by different bugs. How about that?